Hiya, and thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Um, please watch this video if you are um, looking for ideas about goal setting, if you're looking to improve your business. Um, obviously, I can help you. I've been self-employed for a long while, and I know a lot about generating leads. Um, if you've got a small business and you're obviously looking to improve it, um, it's only going to improve, obviously, if you can obviously get customers and give the quotations to obviously obtain the work. Well, there's loads of ways um, that you can do this, and there's loads of things that you should be doing to actually um, achieve your goals. Now, the trouble is, it's very difficult sometimes, even when you know what to do, to actually um, motivate yourself to do it. And uh, this is what this video is about. What I'm going to talk about is, is initially setting some easy goals. So, you know, um, because a lot of it is mentality. So if you can set yourself some small goals to achieve, then these should be quite easily um, attainable, if you like. Now, it might be that you are, um, um, yeah, you may, let's say, take, for example, you're a plumber. It might be that you're a plumber and you're looking for more plumbing work. It might be that you send, um, that you say to yourself every day, I'm going to send five texts to builders in my local area, just, exp just saying that I'm a local plumber and that I'm available should you need any plumbing work done. Please don't, con uh, um, please don't hesitate to contact me. Yeah. Now, you've got to look at that, what I just said. That's five texts that you could send just to people in your area who may or may not need a plumber. Now, this is one goal, and that's a very easily achievable goal. Yeah, it might be that you say every day I'm going to put one post about a job that uh, a job that I'm doing I'm currently doing on my Facebook page. Yeah, it might be that every day you say to yourself I'm going to deliver. 50 leaflets now these goals are so easily um easily obtainable that um you know it begs belief sometimes why people don't have no work you know so this is what this video is about no one's telling you you've got to go out and you know i'm not telling you what to do i'm just saying what you can do if you want to achieve more now all you've got to do is set these easily little achievable goals and then add to them add to them daily or add to them weekly you've got to realize that when you're doing these little simple simple little things that these things are growing these seeds are being planted yeah um i actually do sign writing i, I don't do it on a massive scale because it ain't my main source of income but i do I do sign writing, like bands, builders' boards, this sort of thing, and I started doing this. I started texting, uh, started texting, you know, 10, 20 people a day, local businesses. I just got the yellow pages, I got the Thompson's local, got my local paper. You know, when I was out and about, I was looking at vans in car parks, builders' vans in car parks, and all I was doing was jotting down their mobile numbers, and then just sending them a text. My text was something like this. I'm a local sign writer. I'm based in Claxton-on-Sea. Um, I offer um, a very um, good service at a very competitive price. Um, you're busy, so I'll come to you. Please contact me if you need an estimate for any sign writing work. It, and, the and the thing is, I've got that on my, on my iPhone as a saved message. So all I do is get my, get my phone, I write the numbers out, and I just send, send, send. This is what you could be doing, yeah? And I, I have had quite a few jobs from this. But it's don't sit there one day and send a thousand texts. I mean, I did do that, actually. But yeah, if you've got time, obviously, whatever, you, whatever time you've got, then obviously spend the time wisely. It's in your interest, you know, the amount of people I know, they're self-employed and they say, oh, I've got no work. And I say to them, what are you doing? What are you doing to get work? Have you got an advert in the paper? Well, and they say, well, I don't really think adverts in the paper work. What nonsense. Of course they do. I've had ads in paper. I used to do removals. I used to get ads daily. People ringing me up daily to have me go and 
help them with a removal. Newspaper ad newspaper advertising does work. If you do it in a local ad, if you do it in a local publication, you do a little small advert that ain't costing you loads of money, and you let it run. People have got to see your advert in there. So I've gone a bit off route here, but this is about goal setting. You need if you're gonna achieve just if you if you're if you need more money, if you need more work, which is gonna give you more money and a better lifestyle, rather than sitting and worrying and, and letting the walls close in on you, if you like, do something about it. Yeah? Do something about it. Form, you know, get get a two or three of your mates. Say to them, like, you might have a mate who's a plasterer, one that's a plumber, one that's a bricklayer. You know, get some get some little cards done with all your different companies and obviously what you do in your phone numbers. Go to the printers, get them printed and hand each other's leaflets out with each other's details pertaining to that trade. And, that's, and it ain't cost you nothing. It's cost you a bit of cheap printing. But you need to set these goals. You need to set these goals if you are to achieve. Yeah, if you get to the end of the week, and and you and you've not done a lot of work, and you ain't and you ain't been out and done any marketing, well, why is it gonna? What's gonna happen? The, what's gonna happen the following week? All of a sudden, someone's gonna ring you up, are they? It doesn't work like that. You need to be sowing the seeds. Yeah, you know, watch a guy on YouTube called Jim Rowan. Unfortunately, he's passed away now. He talks about getting leads for people, uh, like network marketing leads, and I've done videos on that as well. But he talks about sowing the seed, that you need to sow the seed to reap the reward. Yeah, it does work. It does definitely work. Um, another um, uh, um, um, way of uh, explaining this is even with me now. I've been doing YouTube for two, no, for about three months now. Now, when I first started, I was I wasn't getting a lot of views. You know, I was beginning to panic. No one wanted to listen. Putting a video up, getting a few views. Putting a video up, getting a few more views. But I've noticed, I've noticed, two or three months into YouTube, I'm almost at ten thousand views. Now I know that's not a lot. That's because some videos get ten thousand views for one, for one video. It just depends what the video is about. But the point I'm trying to make is, is that um, if you knew me, you know I'm not. I'm not, um, you know, telling you no lies. This is me. This is what I do. When I started doing YouTube, and I started putting videos up, and I started seeing a bit of a pattern occurring, I said to my wife, I said, it's a very long term thing but it's something that you can slowly slowly build if you're willing to put the work in early on well that's like anything in life you know that that is the same with anything in life you could look at something as something grows you can look at um, how much time you put into your children you know whether you're nurturing them from the day they're born and you start helping them and guiding them or if, or are you the geezer that just goes off and he disappears for twenty years and then he comes back and the kid ain't turned out how you expected? Well, is it any wonder? It's all to do with what you've put in at the start, right? And goal setting is the only way that you are gonna um, reach your goals. If you've got no destination, if you've got no direction as to where your business or even your life, whatever your goal is about. If you've got no, no, um, you know, I'm, I'm at point A and I know where point B is. If you've got no way of getting to point B, then you'll always be at point A. And it's your fault. I don't know where else to put it. Yeah, it, it, it will be if, you know, I know people, and I, and I know people, you're probably thinking different people have got different, um, you know, different things in their life, different people that are helping them. They might have had more support from their parents. They might have been given money to help grow a business. And there's always going to be that. This video is about, he's talking about, um, if you're like a normal guy like me, a normal working class guy, and you're looking for a way to get to point B and then to get from point B 
to point C and eventually go all the way to the end and get to that point Z, the top, right? But you ain't gonna do that unless you make a plan to get to point B, yeah? Think about what you can do. You know, get a pen and paper, write down what you're gonna do tomorrow and make sure that you do it because if you don't, you'll always be at point A. Thanks for liking, uh, th thanks for watching my video and I really appreciate it if you subscribe. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching.